Hey, Steve Mignone here at Burnison Auto Wrecking doing the Junkyard Crawl with the story of the American Station Wagon. This is a 1954 Ford Ranch Wagon. It's a two-door. Now, a lot of folks think that two-door wagons in the 1950s, well, the Chevy Nomad, right? 55, 6, and 7. There were two-door wagons, the only kind. We've got to remember that station wagons were available as two-doors or four-doors from virtually every car maker. But beyond that, Wood-bodied station wagons are something that were classic in the pre-World War II era, but after 48, steel-bodied station wagons took over. Now, it's true that 49, 50, and 51 Ford wagons did have wooden paneling on the sides. It wasn't structural, but for 1952 onward, steel was the rule on all station wagons made in America. Now, this is a two-door 1954 Ford wagon, and the beauty of this thing here is that all this room in the back was just what the post-World War II baby boomer family needed to bring the kids to and from soccer practice, to bring the groceries home, and again, station wagons, steel-bodied wagons, were quite a new phenomena in the early and mid-1950s. Now, in 1951, 3.3% of all cars sold in America were station wagons. By 1959, 17% of all cars sold in America were wagons. So you might say that the station wagon was the minivan of the 1950s. 1950s. Now this one here does have the ford o -matic logo on the back, which says this one has the three-speed automatic, which was made by Borg Warner for Ford. That was a $180 option on top of the base price of the car to get rid of the three on the tree. Now let's continue walking here, and we can see this one here. It's a New England car, and this is a rust repair panel that somebody sort of pop riveted into position sometime a long time ago. And these were often sold by companies like J.C. Whitney, kind of the predecessor to today's auto metal direct quarter panels and stuff, but there it is. Now here it wasn't for restoration, it was about keeping the car on the road. But inside, we can see the automatic transmission for that ford automatic. Here's the selector right there. Uh, the manual steering, of course, on this AM radio, kind of cool, 110 mile an hour speedometer. And something new for 54 was this translucent globe on the top of the speedometer, which allowed natural light to backlight the gauges. So again, uh, this car, you know, was a pretty cool piece. And again, no back door on this. You had to jump around behind the seat, which means, of course, that the front seats on two-door wagons are articulated, whereas on four-door wagons, they're fixed. They don't fold. Now, here on the front fender, Ranch Wagon. Indeed, that is the name for the two-door family. Uh, the four-door wagons were called country sedans or country squires at the top level with fake wood trim on them. Uh, now, this one here under the hood, what do we got? All right, that's Ford's inline six. Not a flathead, this is an overhead valve design. And look at the Holly four barrel, the one barrel carbon with a glass bowl. That's kind of a cool piece. The glass bowl allows you to see the fuel level and if there's any issues with the float. But again, this was the, uh, the basic six cylinder. $80 more got you the first year. 239 cubic inch Y block overhead valve V8. But here we have the counterpoint to the two-door wagon, the Country Squire four-door wagon. Now the price on this was about $104 more than the two-door in 1954. Otherwise, quite the same car. Um, again, the four doors allowed you to get in and out of the back without having to get around the front seat. So, you know, you pick your, your, your poison, as it were. Uh, same massive space in the back. This one has extra space going all the way down to the ground. It's a rare factory option. Good stuff. Quarter panel, really clean and straight. But again, four door body style right here. Now, 1954, again, was a breakthrough year for Ford. And this is Hop Up and Motor Life magazine from February of 54. And this is when Hop Up and Motor Life combined to uh, become one. But inside of this, there's a nice roundup of the 54 Ford model line. And here it is right there, Ford's for 54. And again, the first year for the translucent roof, we see it on top left. And uh, the new overhead valve V8, the 239 cubic inch engine, seen for the first time. Uh, and it's kind of cool to see the point counterpoint. Here's that dashboard with that cool plastic translucent top then and here it is now. Now again, this is plastic and it does, you know, dries with time. But uh, the idea here was this magnesium casting uh, would be backlit by natural light. And another big deal for 1954 was the advent of ball joints. And we see right here in this picture, 
there's on the left we see the new ball joint and you can see the ball joint right at that location and on the right is the kingpin of 1953. The deal with the kingpins is that when the car's decelerating quickly uh, there's an anti-dive characteristic that's not there. Ball joint front suspensions have more articulation and better geometry so the car tends to not want to dive when you hit the brakes. But here it is right here that's the ball joint right there seen for the first time 1954 and inside of this is a ball and a socket kind of like your elbow or your hip same idea there's one on the top one on the bottom here's the grease fitting for service right there so again 1954 first year for ball joints on Ford passenger cars now Chevrolet would introduce a very similar design in 1955 the next model year but because Ford had used ball joints so heavily in its marketing Chevy called it spherical joint suspension in 1955 so there's the story of that but again in the mid 50s wagons were a huge part of the American passenger car scene again as big as the minivan was in the 1980s the steel bodied station wagon was in the 1950s and again the baby boom really owes its uh, growth to uh, the utility of the station wagon so that's the story of these two 1954 Fords the ranch wagon and the country sedan four-door if you like this video be sure to subscribe to the Steve Maggs YouTube channel